Okay. Uh, Nina, can you see? Yep, thank you. I'll do like that this way. Now, to start, to start it, first of all, is what we normally do. Get the hair all around, and the hair down here, well, up there, not down here, up there, goes like this. Huh? So I'm talking about this area here. And then you have um, this side, which is in, in, the sh in the shadow. This side goes right down here. Then you have the chin and the neck. Shoulder here. And the good thing about this is basically what I do with my drawings is that it's got loads of background. And I like that because, see, it's so much better when you have background around it. It gives, it makes the person be part of a, it brings, or it puts it into an atmosphere, into a surrounding area. So you can feel that's behind him and the portrait which emerges from that darkness. So it's very effective when you do it this way. But you have to do it because lots of people, let's say, don't put backgrounds. And a lot of drawers don't do it. But this is different, this is, I like that. It's very, it attracts a lot of attention just because of the background and because of obviously his, uh, yeah, his expression, obviously. And then you have the nose, which goes straight down here. And the thing is, the, the mouth is extremely difficult here to get, to get hold on. And then, so that will be a bit of a challenge today. <laughs> well, it's good to challenge ourselves, isn't it? And then you have that shadow here, which is the other side, that side, and then background again, which if you notice on the background, you have a horizontal, uh, horizontal lines moving this way. Then you have hair up here, up there, and then you have the background all around there. Oh here, oh here. And you have the forehead, which I went all dark here, but I can come back and reveal again, but that would be by darkening this side, which is that area there. And he's longer, his face is longer, I found it a bit too short, so the face is actually down here, along the face, and you have a very, very dark shadow, and this line. Yeah. Just do that on the drawing itself, look like this. Yeah. See? So, side of the hair, move it down. And it will give you the, the obviously the jaw exceeds that line, it's there. But, in, in a very straightened or geometrical shape or line, that would be a, an accurate one, which is basically Top of the hair, well, the, end, the edge of the hair, top of the ear, earlobe, and jaw. Top of the hair, ear, edge of the ear, earlobe, and jaw. And that's the line. And then you have the jaw here. And coming even lower, even lower, the, the, um, the, the, the chin, chin even lower than that. See, I went. It was there, went down here, and went down there. See, it's just to adjust it, because the way I see it now, I think I had to do that. And maybe that line is not too parallel. So it's probably a bit lower than that. It's not that, it's not there, it's more on the outside. So it's, instead of being 45 degree, it's maybe, anyway, it, it, I would say it's a small change, but, so I brought that line a little bit further down there. Would be 35 45 now it might be a bit of a confusing term but what i'm actually saying is that it's a bit more of a standing up edge line this one here and then you have the hair which is close to the ear the end of the ear then you have the edge of the hair on this side now here that's the forehead so it should be kept light in a light area and now another good thing to do well but the right thing to do here, instead of using um, lines, take your uh, the dust and create the, the expression he's got on his forehead, which is the eyebrow, 
and ex so it's it 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 is like a the eye the whole eye cavity is there look and that is what I'm going to so create kind of a dusty area where you can bring the eye in and the nose okay, and then obviously the mouth down here and the mouth if you notice the mouth, the mouth is not a straight line like this it's like that moves up a bit and the tension that he's got on the mouth that's the lower lip and then you have the nose there so obviously they're too strong of a line so soften them like that look and you can come back and do the mouth part of the mouth the top and then and then strain that he's putting on his lip here and darker shadow there so that now that to be done on a very small scale will be a challenge in itself but we'll try that's the mouth maybe a bit further up but then yeah further up here lower a bit and the shadow under the mouth and bringing the nose itself here and the eyebrow that eyebrow is right hand side or left as we see is slightly higher than this one so i should bring that lower a bit lower then you go the eye which is obviously uh, very surprised but well, that's how he looks shadow here cheekbone ear yellow the end of the ear and another edge of his so basically his hair it's a bit like a pear upside down hmm? that's the top of the pear if it was a pear that's the top and the bottom is down there so there bringing that here yeah can you see you yeah. see and here and a little bit further or oh, no i was thinking giving him a bit more jaw but actually it's not because he's moving his jaw up when you he's doing this he's just moving the jaw outside so and then then when you do that then you lose this you lose the the, the jaw and when you push it forward well some people i mean he looks like a good actor so some people are hmm? you can see his cheekbones can't you 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 can see this cheekbone yeah which is this one yes both. but yes both, you can see yeah. them both yes it's correct yeah you can see them there but the width i'm just wondering if the, if the width of the face big enough uh maybe not looks I mean, a bit thin looks so a bit thin, thin yeah maybe not we'll see we'll see uh, yeah possibly possibly so i can but yeah at this stage because i'm still constructing i can fix that very easily look bring it down here and make it a bit wider there and the nose i need to i need to keep an eye on the nose now which is basically yeah that part and the nose it's actually longer than what i've done it here that feels short to me so it's a longer nose and so the nose is actually from look from this point to the end of the nose so it's not yeah obviously we know that the beginning of the nose is there it's just where the tear duct is so i'm talking from that point to that point the nose should go a little bit longer than what i've done here and also i have this line here which creates the, uh, the bone structure here of the eyebrow there look this one and the forehead and a little bit more forehead here it just comes up here a little bit more forehead and also bringing the that into being that part of the eye which is his left eye and slightly higher higher this one here and you got the eye which is it's a bit like a ghost this eye it's not very much um emphasized it's, it's very very softly drawn this eye which should suggest basically it's got first of all you can see that it's got clear eyes 
could be blue eyes. You see that this it's very, very light the eye. It's a bit like strange, but yes. And I have the impression that this drawing is being done on um, tablet as well. I'm not 100% sure, but it feels like. Tablet, tablet. So it's a tablet drawing. Tablet. Yes. Well, nowadays they do amazing things on tablet. And you, you, you have to look hard to see. But I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. And then you have the neck. Neck, which is right under the jaw. Right under the jaw here. And his shoulder. Mm. I think I need to go. Yeah, his forehead looks larger on the original image. So I need to bring the forehead up there and then bring the hair right up at the edge of the paper. So if I push the hair up there, I have enough space now to bring or to enlarge the forehead. And that will be with papula uh, there. Now, as principle, in principle, not as principle, in principle, I think I'm not doing too bad. Where I'm doing bad is the likeness, which is not him. He looks younger on me, which is not a bad thing, but obviously you want him to look like him. And another thing to, to darken is that side of the face, which is his left hand side, his right and our left. The ear is there, the ear is a bit more of a, we said the line that I've just had at the beginning is, so I have the tip of the, hair, of the ear there, here, and then you have the ear lobe here, there. So there, the ear, the ear is there, more jaw, a bit wider neck, get that line off. And what I'm going to do is to create and give him a little bit more of a, shadow up on the upper lip to create that uh, expression that he's got there and keep an eye because i hate it quite close the upper lip the middle of the lips was too close to the end of the nose to me so what i need to do i brought it down a bit more so the distance between the, the, the field room the distance is it's larger on the original than what i had it here and and because he's doing this mm. so obviously it becomes bigger so yes, uh, uh, s small changes, but actually very important because that's why it's probably not looking like him because of these things. And of, obviously, very, very dark right-hand side here. Very dark right-hand side. We're all in the shadow and the nose itself, the eyebrow, that, and also here, I can play around and make that a little bit darker than what it is at the moment. And now playing it with, with the putty rubber, getting rid of some those darks that I have on the chin, because I think the chin is too dark and it creates the impression, although it's, it is dark there, but creates the impression that he is unshaved, which is not. And soften these areas with my Fingers, if you see constantly working with my fingers here, because they're so beautiful middle tones, they're, they're, they're light. So the fingers will be the best thing to use here. It's very, very light. Forehead, uh, I mean forehead here, eye underneath, eye, uh, cheekbone, darker here, wider here. The neck is lighter. It's very, very light, so I've gone wrong there. The neck is quite light. And more of a straight line on the neck, end of the chin, and then coming to his mouth now. With his nose movement of the brush, like, uh, sorry, the patty um, This, which creates strain on his mouth. And then lighter under the, under the lower lip here. Light, 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 light here. It's, it's creating that movement of the mouth coming forward. Definitely the mouth, yeah. Yeah, a bit of a strange movement, but you know, he's doing, 
he's posing like this. Yeah. It's clever. You can do that. We can do that, drawing ourselves. Do a pose like that, take a picture, and then start drawing. Mm. Take a picture. <laughs> when I was a student, I, they were telling us that yeah, the, best, the best model for you is yourself. Because yeah. you see yourself in the mirror all the time, so you know yeah. how you look. Yeah. Mm? And it's true. Yeah. And obviously, a little bit more. But do you necessarily want to do on it? Exactly. Oh, <laughs> <man. laughs> you read my mind. <laughs> that's, another, that's another issue. Yeah. So if you go forehead, uh, cheekbone. Taking that movement there, the nose, which is pointed here, pointed and lighter, 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 lighter. Nostril here, and the end of the nose, which is right here, and where the philtrum starts there, and the chin, which is the same. You have those highlights, which are kind of a 45 degree angle, lights like this, and that creates an impression of the, the mouth and of the chin coming up like this. And this one here. Can you see me now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Darker, 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 and more of a line here. Bring the line back. Soft, softly, soft, because that's very soft line. And then bring that line back here. Okay. But he's lighter. I've gone too dark on this side, so lighter here. Okay, and I can bring that middle tone of, uh, well, not too bright tone, bring it onto his face like this, look. Now with this side of the, of the fan, which is, it, it just keeps it soft and keeps middle tones in, in its place. But then at some point you have to use Fakra because obviously here I've gone, you see I've narrowed him too much. It's quite wide there. So let's bring back the putty is much wider here but you can look now you can play around with the putty rubber and bring his well create more of a likeness let's say top of the ear ear lobe is here and cheekbone lighter there and it's moving more onto that side and that muscle that highlight which creates the muscle, the strain on the muscle, that highlight here, which I've just done now. Yeah. This one, this one. And it goes right under to his lower lip, look. That highlight connects with the lower lip, like that. And obviously working out on him, because if you notice, his eye, top of his eye is bright, which is, okay, let me do the eye only, look. The eye, set it, okay, I had the mouth earlier on. The eye is something like this. You have the eye, top of the eye, that's the eyelid, that's the eyebrow, but the eye itself, the pupil, it's, not the pupil, the iris, is looking down. So the iris is closer to the upper, lower part of the eyelid instead of the upper part. Do you see what I'm, yeah. that creates a surprise, uh, that creates surprise. So then, but the upper eyelid is light here, and also the, the white of the eye is lighter there, look. Hmm? And you have a little bit of a shine here, which is, look. Hmm? So it's like that. So that's what I need to get now onto that one there. And the eye looking down, the upper eyelid thicker. Bigger line and eyelid, tear duct, eye looking down, pupil. There we are. Hmm? Nina, they're cheating. They're working, you're not working. Yes, I'm, I'm listening, I'm listening, well, we're listening and trying our bits. <laughs> 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 oh, <you're doing laughs> I'm 
there be the reason when you come to me going, yeah, it's good, but... <laughs> because I've forgotten everything, because I'm... Uh, and then, that's the trouble, <laughs> that's the trouble. I, I don't want to very close at the beginning. Yeah, yeah I, I do. do. And that's the way it is. But the show we've got to do in the eyes, I'm going, how did this begin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. no, I'm <laughs> Well, it begins with that. It begins with a very dark shadow because his eye, you see, they're, they're very soft in, in, in uh, well, the approach that he's done is, is fantastic because it's very, very soft. But yeah, keeping it light. And look, this eye is becoming, it's coming through. But then what I need to do is to bring, because they look too close to me. And it's got big, big eyes. So move that eye further out. So move that eye there. And as the eyebrow is looking, uh, this eyebrow is up, this eyebrow is lower. So then you have it there. And then bring that eye a bit further out. And that's the pupil, sorry, the iris and the pupil, there you are. And just highlight of this, there. And here, and maybe, because that to me looks like he's had a, a an operation there, so I need to <laughs> I need to merge this there. It didn't look too healthy there, so and then bring that cheekbone a little bit darker, and then you have that. Then you have this look, highlight on the chin, which moves it back and brings it down, down low, low there, brings the chin lower there, and obviously hair dark on the hair because it's quite solid, quite dark. Um, what's that called? Uh, sideburn. Sideburn, which he's got one. And then hair, hair, and softer, softer, softer here, softer there. See? The hand works a treat. You don't even need the putty rubber. Obviously, you need it to get rid of things that you don't like, but. And much, much darker. Look, the hair becomes the background in up here, look, you see? Yeah. There's no, well, you can still see where it ends, but it's not necessarily in your face. Back here, and the softer marriage here. Now, I think, I like it, uh, but what I need to do is to spray it and continue, but I'm not going to obviously spend time more for you, but. I would spray that and continue because it's quite good. And I think what I've done here, which is wrong, is that his jaw looks small, looks larger there. You see, mm -hmm. that looks large. I've just noticed that. So that is a bit more like that. Look, move it down and bring that change, that turn, move it down there. And with your finger, follow the same pattern there. It's a bit longer now. But I need to work more on the likeness, which is basically and possibly, possibly, the nose needs to be a little bit longer. Yes, the nose needs, it, it looks short on me. He's got a normal nose. Mm. See, he, this, he looks like a tall man. Now, it's true, sometimes, not always, sometimes people have long faces and, and they're sitting. But then you know that by the face, you will, when they stand up, you will see that he's a, he's a tall man or a tall woman. If, if, not, you, if you measure it from the bottom of the nose to the bridge of the nose it's the same distance from the bottom of the nose to the chin and to the top of the forehead so bottom of the nose to the bridge to the bridge yes it's the same that to that. that oh it's the same as from it's there. the same as that and that oh wow okay it could be you see one bottom of the bridge one Yes, bottom, look, bottom of the nose to the bridge, bottom to the bridge, it's just above the upper, upper eyelid, uh, upper lip. Yes, i just seen that one. It's to the upper lip, upper lip. So one. Yes, it's short, yes. So I need to bring the nose uh, uh, lower. I need to lower the nose, definitely. Well, I could feel that. But you will not say anything because you're very polite. But I've noticed that. And then, and then the eye, so possibly bring the eyes further up and then make that bridge further up instead of pushing there. Make the bridge of the nose up here. 
there. And bring that eyebrow further up. That, that, that makes the nose longer. And bring that eyebrow up as well. So you see, if you put up the eyebrows, the further up on the eyebrows I go, the longer the nose looks. Hmm? So there we are. And forehead, so the larger forehead. And this one here. Okay, yeah, I think that's better now. But as I said, for me to continue, I will have to spray it and carry on. But I'll leave that now. And obviously we start working and I can do that later on. For the video. And light here. And the nose there. Okay. It's okay, it's not an expression. You look surprised. I think the eyes, the mouth is. All right, let's continue with that a little bit more. And this eye here, I think I lower it a little bit too much. So I can bring it up, up there, the iris. Pupil is down here. Pupil is quite small here, so I don't want to emphasize the pupil too much. Now that needs to be softened here. Part of the lip. That's also, we have the um, creases of the lip here. There, darker here. You have this, you know, that darker muscle or stubble, if you like, a bit lower. Put that line there, and also the shadow. Could extend the shadow a little bit here. Dark here. That's a very dark shadow, very solid. And then dark and low here. We got quite a low and goes quite down the shadow, deep, deep in his chest. And Soft in the background, the shadows here, the eye lead is a little bit shorter there. I, I mean, uh, not shorter, lower, sorry. And then you've got the eyebrow, which is further up. And that becomes part of the shadow here. A nice soft tonal value which will help us with the forehead, uh, the lines of the forehead, the worry, worry lines. A bit lighter, a light, and that line here. Talking about this nice, uh, that middle line that you've got here sharper darker here with the hair lighter the, sh the shine of the hair right up here the dark side side line of the hair and also the hair which jumps out here And bring it back some uh, um, bust right at the edge of his mouth. It gives him even more turn of the mouth, which makes the mouth 
coming forward, then you have the line under his uh, nose, nostril. Take some dust from here and then move it along there. A bit more rounded. That was a bit too dark. But we can always come back and fix it. Dark with my fingers, which is basically the dust from the charcoal, dust from a willow charcoal, eyebrow, break it up a little bit the eyebrow to look more organic and darkly in between, which creates a beautiful line, which makes actually the nose longer. As I was saying earlier with Ian, we were talking about that. The nose looks or appears to be longer, and this is the way of doing it. Half tone, half tone up here. Um, that muscle, I can maybe overemphasize it. It wouldn't be any, it will help. And then you have the jaw coming through and then darker here a little bit darker with the hair and the ear a little bit further out and top of the ear is i think i've gone too far out with the ear yes i did look the end of the ear or the beginning of the ear is right above the eyelid so here just was too generous with the ear and then move it down a bit more down here there and sharp on the charcoal and give it back that beautiful background which is missing here on me That line is almost like a straight line, which I did change it, but it's more of that way. And a little bit more neck, which is basically here. A little bit further down. I'm going over the previous eye demo here. So the eye is kind of like this, you have the eyelid, upper eyelid, you have two parts of the eye, upper eyelid, then you have the tear duct, which is here, pupil, iris, here, you got that line here, you get this one, shadow, that line there, so that's the eye, In it on its own that's it that, that's the eye here which is basically that eye is left eye so right eye left for us and you have the eyebrow and what i was saying earlier on you have that separation of the eye of the hair here obviously the hair on the eyebrow and it's looking low you have the bag under the eye here and to make it look surprised you just highlight the upper white part of the, of the eye there then you bring it down here there. and you have the tear duct which is down here this one and also you can make the line of the I, a lower eyelid, but not with a charcoal line, you can make it with putty rubber. How about that? Yes, and some highlights here. Look, nose that's where the nose is, and then where's the so this is basically that part here. And you've got the nose here, you have the nose ridge. And the nose up here, 
shallow the nose. Okay. And that's the other part of the, of the um, uh, eyebrow or forehead. A bit further out. Okay. And then lighter here. So there you have it. Coming back to the original drawing. Soft, soft, because it's just too light. That's where the, you have the next eye. Anyway, let's go back to this. So what I've done here, I can apply it on that eye. Which is his right eye. Uh, our his left eye, but right as we see it. Then we have the lower eyelid, which is this one here. A bit lighter, the white of the eye. Lighter. Then you have the bone structure, which moves up straight there. You have this, which is the uh, the bone structure of the um, eye cavity. Then you have the uh, obviously the ear, a little bit lower, maybe a bit lighter too. Although it's not that light there, but I think I think will help if I brighten the no um, sorry the ear here. And uh, highlight on the eye, highlight on that eye, um, moving up or lightening up the mouth. There, lightening up that one, lighter here as well. Chin, 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 forehead lighter and wider or well, longer up here than higher, sorry, not longer, higher. Then you have the hairlines, the eyebrow. Um, it's a bit more of yes the line here it's more rounded the eyebrow here sharpen the charcoal so I'll sharpen it onto my um, sandpaper I'm sharpening right here on the paper so I can make I can make the profile of that quite huh? a little bit more edgy let's say and you've got the darks here and those lights or those background darks are a little bit further there so I can introduce or make the line to the end of the hair a little bit further down here. Hair. Hair. Lighter hair. That where the hair are well, you have the middle line, which is it's not a middle line, but it's right under the eye, so it's somewhere here or above the eye, actually. There we are, and there, highlights. Darker on this side, darker here. Darker that line. Sorry, lighter, not darker, lighter here. Right here. Yes. And here as well. More of a neck. Wider neck. Wider shoulder. Darker 
on the background. Here too. This side too. all these lines darker and also a little bit wider this area and goes right up here and that makes the nose straight up longer edgy edgy line and bring the nose a little bit more onto onto that side, more to the left. See that doesn't, it's not there, but maybe it is on the original, but I cannot see it because it's a printed paper, but there is a, by emphasizing that slightly more, the lip here gives a very nice turn of the lip here and it makes it a little bit more believable in the sense that you can see what's happening on my drawing i mean the original is fantastic and this is uh, really good to work on after another drawing uh, professional artist because they sorted the lines and they sorted the darks after us for us sorry it's, it's given you a beautiful solution here of how to deal with a surprise, let's say, face. Hmm? And then you have the tear duct here. Nose, maybe a bit wider the nose, why not? If I widen the nose a bit more, that's it. Hmm. It does a lot of good because it's got a white face, a bit more of lighter white of the of the eye. So as I said, it's good to work after other artists. Because you hone your own skills and also it gives you the other artist gives you the solution to different expression of the faces and obviously the likeness and sort out so many half tones where to use the half tones where to use the highlights how to deal with the likeness which are not so obvious things you have to work on on your uh, yourself obviously but it's an easier task to work after a really good drawing. There. Leave it for a second. As I think I'll, I'm ready to spray it. And then, then we'll continue. Mm. So, brightening up before I spray it, brightening up, forehead, there, a little bit more here, like a rubber, um, the worry lines, Highlights here, forehead again, white, the white of the eye, uh, uh, the line underneath, the um, eyelid, the lower eyelid, upper eyelid here. Uh, 
a little bit less dark of that big mass that we've got here. Lighter, the neck, softer edge of the line, a few highlights on the stubble. I think it's a stubble, it's just basically it is um, the area that a little bit left the hair there on his chin there we are um tear duct forehead again a little bit brighter there Brighter again here, some highlights on the hair, lighter up here, bigger forehead here, Lighter forehead right here, and a little bit lighter here too. Lighter, lighter. There. All right, now I'll spray it. All right, so we get, let's get back to our drawing here and give some more uh, middle, middle tone to it. With this time, with brushes, very, very small brushes. Get that line, which is the, the line or the bag under the eye. And here's this side of the nose, a softer tone, that side of the nose, that it's also a darker tone, which gets closer here. We have some dark hair, which creates the, the eyelid. So the eyebrow, the eyelid is right here. The nose, and then the bag under the eye. And that's the lower eyelid. The lower eyelid, and the line of the bag under the eye, somewhere here. Just a little bit of em emphasis on that. Then a little bit lower here, down here. And soft, 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 the tone. There. And I can spread that now. There's a lighter tone of value here with a putty rubber. So that area or the side of the side plane of the head light light and a soft merge of hair with a skin tone I forehead further up there Up here, softer, forehead here, lighter tone, forehead, 
and with the hair, with a brush, move that up. Break that dark line. You break it because otherwise, it, I, I'm talking about that particular dark line that I have here, here. Then come back, but not as dark as it was. Again, it creates a certain, a certain look, which is not too dark. Oh, not too dark, not too bright. A middle dark value. Not the darkest, but the middle dark value. Hair. See, the hair is not, uh, the, the dark is not holding. It's not standing, uh, it's, uh, the paper is not actually accepting the darks. So a little bit darker here on that side. Darker tones. And this dark tone, I can take some dark from the background, move it down here, move it there. A softer one, soft on the upper lip, softer to the nose here, lighter, lighter. Well, actually, darker up here, but then lighter than the nostril itself. So the nostril, light here. There. Like a ton of value here. And take some of this dark back here. This is the back or the bag under the eye or the eye bag. A lighter tone here, lighter tone on that side of the cheek and uh, jaw, the cheekbone here and the jaw here. Keep it soft. And the lip itself, except a few white lines, I will darken it. White lines here where you have the, the creases on the lip. on the cheekbone here lighter up here lighter there as well there. and a little bit of a lighter tone of value here Soft the tongue, and I think 
quite bright on the white of the eye that will make his eye pop out even more. So we've got the white of the eye. White of the eye again, lighter, a bit lighter, a bit lighter. Now he's got a very, very light tone. So he looks blue eyed or clear eyed. Mm -hmm. So a bit lighter tone on the eye itself. There. And we have the highlights here, the creases, wrinkles of the lower lip moving upwards. Some highlight of the neck. Okay, a few highlights here on the hair. Give it a little spray. And then I'll come back and do a few more highlights. So spray for a while, spray for, uh, I mean, a few minutes. Wait for it to dry. Okay, I'll wait for it to dry. All right, now. Left it for a while with spray. A darkened few highlights with dark highlights here on the hair. So I think that's the darkest dark. So that will be nice if I darken it a little bit. Will create a kind of a not nice necessarily, but volume. And I mean volume by saying nice. I mean more volume basically. Now there's a composition issue. I went too far up with the hair, and that was a mistake because I should have brought the face a little bit lower. But it's too late now. We've got ear, right ear, right here. Darker tone of value on the ear. Leave it at that. Dark tone. Bit more of a jaw here. And some highlight. Although I've sprayed it, but I think that will work. Yes, it does. So look, brighten that line here, make it a little bit lighter. And keep the neck here, the line of the neck. And this dark is very deep and dark and as dark as you can here. Neck. Let me have some shadows here. Put up a neck on this side. Apparently, this 
uh, not wearing any top so it's quite light skin tone bit of emphasis on the tip of the ear here you know it would be nice to create a bit of a darker line although I am not against having lines but uh, they should be incorporated to deeper darks Duct. A darker line to emphasize a bit more the nose, tear duct on this side, darker line for the emphasis of the nose, and shadow of the nose here. don't see much what's going on here but I I'm inventing a little bit here on my own here just how the lip would have actually looked like on a shadow obviously it's shadow it's, it's not much information but we give it a tone give it a darker tone here and then emphasis of the end of the lip upper lip I mean sorry the upper part of the lower lips not the upper lip Be too dark here. A little parts of it could be dark. As dark as that, and then some eyebrow a little bit more of an emphasis on the eyebrow here, especially a little bit lighter here. darker tone which moves towards the left side of the forehead so that side now this is all dark here but I don't want to make it solid dark so I'm giving that netted dark so like a net of this dark here yeah? like we say it's it's kind of a it's breathing space by doing those lines instead of doing a, a solid dark line again it gives a certain look maybe a bit more of a cheek cheekbone a little bit slightly wider and again the netted I mean, so if, that, if that's a term anyway I'm just inventing here a bit of a darker lines that way it just creates kind of a freshness some it refreshes the, that dark area otherwise it's just too solid again it's just too solid could have done it but I don't think it works or it breathes basically that's more of a breathing space a bit darker here as I said earlier on kind of a stubble of the man here the model Top nostril here, a 
I had to remind myself that the leap is lower than what I hit it early on, but I uh, brought the upper leap a little bit further up. It's got a no longer nose. It's more stretched. His head is more stretched. And he's, to me, it's a bit more rounded. But again, it's extremely hard to do a perfect um, copy of what you see, basically. It's very hard. Unless I need to spend more time. And obviously, it's a quick study. Otherwise, I would have spent a lot more time. So a soft turn, a soft emerge of the cheek bone. And then that, push that line out or even lose it. I mean, that jawline, lose it, bring it down here. Yeah, that, that also makes the 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 jaw a little bit well it just makes the face a little bit longer yeah. again soften that front of the chin and bring the shadow off the face down here. His uh, neck here, softer, maybe darker here. Leave the neck a little bit of transparency on the neck and do that dark shade in here. All right. A middle tone up there, I think it's too bright. On the value, so that area is slightly darker than that. So push it back with some darker tones. There. All right, I think it's good enough. So, I think for this week's exercise, that will be uh, a study of portrait and facial expression. Lighter here. Ideally, having it the, having the portrait slightly lower so I have space to develop the end of the hair there. Deliberately darkening that, so I push, so I'm pushing the front of the face, the front of the forehead closer to me, to us, so giving a little darker tone to the back, back of the forehead, and then bringing from the front of the forehead towards us. So it's a deliberate 
We've done our good time of value there, basically. And that highlight or that line, bright line, is further to the right here. I've already decided to darken it, so I don't want to change that decision to keep this area onto more of a shade, shadier, darker tone of value. Like a tone. Alright. That E is a bit too low here, so I can bring it up a bit more and stop it here, make it a bit smaller. Uh, all right, everyone, as I said, I should have left it a little bit earlier, but the more I work on it, the more details I can add, but I think it's good enough. So there's three, three nine, is it three nine, three nine? See you next time.